Welcome brothers and sisters, this week we're taking you to the promised land, the sunset paradise of Fukuok. So join us as we go to Starfish Beach and also explore Sunset Town, which is a bit of a ghost town. We can't wait for this one. We left Kanto early in the morning by bus to catch the 1pm ferry by the coast which took about 2 hours to Fukuok. If you've seen our last video, you'll know it's been a bit of a whirlwind tour to get here, but we finally made it. We made it! It took us, it took us 4 days to get here. We had a really nice break in between and made a really good friend and discovered a new town. And now we made it. <laughs> Finally. Yes, looking <laughs> forward to spending the New Year's here. Yeah, it shows you sometimes your travel plans just change and it's mostly the weather. You can't really do it if you've got a need to get a ferry, uh, especially on an island like this. But now we can just literally kick back, relax and get ready for yeah. the New Year's. And we've and got a cool. nice little um, view of the ocean. Seems a really nice place, so let's see. At this point, we were super tired. It's been a long few days traveling back and forth so finally time to kick back and enjoy the seaside. Now I checked all the brakes, checked the steering and then I've got a little helmet and for a hundred a day that's really really good so that works out to probably about three quid or two quid, two quid fifty, nearly three pounds. I look like a little soldier. There's no shortage of restaurants on this island. We even found Patty a vegan restaurant, so she was super happy. And all you meat and fish lovers out there, you're gonna be in paradise. I'm gonna tell you something. After year traveling, Phil was still none the wiser when it comes to putting on sun cream. You gotta look after yourself between 11 and in the morning and 3 in the afternoon, put on sun cream at least that time. It's important. That's all bad. I should put on sun cream, and I will put on sun cream. Did forget today though, no. looking for the bike. Here we are, we're at a restaurant. We are learning to, well, learning to count. Mop, pow, ba. Mop, pow, ba, Duncan boy. There's, there's to 10. <laughs> Hello there. It's the second day here in Fukuok, and we come down for the beach to catch some rays. And I have to say, I quite like the beach, it's very still. Nice soft sand and no stones makes for an idle place. Just come relax and chill out on this beautiful island, tropical beach. As we learn later, this island has different types of beaches all around. We decided to stay at Long Beach by the main town to enjoy the sunsets mainly. Taxi? I love the folks so much. Best food in Vietnam. and Corin and then probably go and have a little sunset dinner I think and see and see our little matey as well Dutch birds they just go exploring really it's a big island me and Pat are ready on the bikes we'll have a bit of smooching with the Pat Meister if I'm lucky or if I play my cards right. <laughs> mm -mm, I love getting smoochy with the pat mice. So off we set on our journey on the bike across to the other side of the island. It was pretty much a motorway that took us all the way across and then when we finally got there, the roads were nice and quiet. The east side of Fukuok is less built up and still with lots of natural beauty, completely different to the beach bars and big hotels of the west side where we are staying. Here we are, we've got to stop off, we've got a hand quang coffee. It's actually really nice, iced coffee for you and for me. And it's a nice day, we've got the shorts on, feeling, feeling raunchy and uh, Pat's hopefully going to give me a bit of a smooch. And they translate, let's see the English. Yeah, clever isn't it? He's boss. <laughs> yeah, he'll be the boss in 20 years, eh? He is already. Oh, so what are you going to get out today, Pat? Um, sunshine and explore this island, maybe a little bit of crazy golf, who knows? Enjoy the dragon fruit. It's really tasty. 
We got lipstick on. Look at the monkey reporting for duty. Sup? Oh, let's go! So after a quick coffee, we were back on the roads. I must say this side of the island is definitely built for people who want to get away from the hustle and bustle. It's pure tranquility and it's a very chilled vibe indeed. Really cool. So I think this is an individual place you can have food and a restaurant. I think they do coffee and food here. How nice is this? It's like a little cheeky little harbour. You can literally walk to the end of here. Must be a great place for fishing as well. There you go. Look at that. Cute in the sunshine, <laughs> in a hammock, cuddling the coolest, loveliest German no. that money can buy. Nice. <laughs> And off we go for a spot of crazy golf with our good friends from London. Hey, it's crazy golf time. So we spent the afternoon at Rory's Mini Golf and it was really enjoyable. The landscape and the actual golf course was really well put together. There was overall about 18 holes and we spent the whole afternoon here having a laugh in the sunshine. Crazy golf, Pat. It's crazy. It is crazy. It's pretty good. We've all got some skills that we never saw before. I like it. Gosh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have spent a good portion of the time retrieving the ball from shrubs and ponds, as you do. Let's <laughs> pop up a little bit. There we go, look a little winky. The next morning we make our way down south of the island towards Sunset Town which was to be the most bizarre experience so far. This is the funniest town I've ever seen. You guys wouldn't believe it. We'll give you some nice footage to me. <laughs> it's a ghost town. Hey morning. morning crew, happy, well it's the last day of the year and we're here in the southern town of Fikwok and it literally feels like you somewhere in Europe, Spain or Italy, the music, the buildings, the architecture, it's quite experienced. It's a little bit crazy, you can hear the music in the background, it seems like we're in Paris or somewhere. And if you just take behind us guys, over here, there's a bridge where it's like the ideal place to take photos where the two bridges stop and you can literally kiss in the middle like a kissing bridge they are pretty much made that just for instagram i imagine and there's no shortage of people there we'll show you yeah it's a bit spooky there's not a lot of people here but it looks like it should be a hustling bustling city yeah it feels like we're somewhere it's not vietnam 
but let's see, let's go and explore. You've got to be the, the ultimate douchebag. Just leave your rubbish like this. Why do that? I don't understand people, man. I'll put it away. Go with me to the island tour. As we drive through this European style town, it quickly becomes clear that most of the shops and apartments are empty as it's eerily quiet on the streets. This place even recreates famous landmarks such as the Pompeii ruins and the Colosseum from where you can catch a cable car to a water park on a neighboring island. It literally feels like we're on a film set of some Hollywood film and like the buildings here, they're just like shells. There's nothing inside them. This is very bizarre, <laughs> but very cool as well. Welcome to the craziest, weirdest place I think me and Patty have ever been to on our whole travels here. So we're in for Quok and we're in kind of like the bottom part and this town has been made and it's very eerie because not a lot of people are here. <laughs> but we've been driving around and um, yeah, it just seems like she was built for tourism, but there's no tourism. Hey, here we have Corinne, one of our good friends from London and literally gonna ask her some questions, what she thinks about this local area of what we've been doing this morning. So Corinne, what do you think of this of this place we've been, been visiting this morning? It's really strange. It's like a town from a Western. I don't think there's anything behind the front of the houses. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, it looks like the Amalfi Coast a bit. Like if you just picked it up and dropped it. Do you think it suits Vietnam? Oh, it's it's uh, very authentically Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But it's not meant to be, is it? It's meant, yeah. it's, if you live in Vietnam and you want to go to Italy and you can't go to Italy, then this is where you'd come, isn't it? Like, Very that's true. the. Goal. And would you, you and Andy, would you personally like to come and live here if you could? No, because there's like six people living here. <laughs> I think you'd feel like you were surviving a zombie apocalypse. That's, I love that. Well, there you go. There's some lovely answers from our lovely friend Corian. Back to the studio. <laughs> It does make you wonder what the future holds for this place. If these apartments and hotels are not maintained, they will not age well. Also, it's a shame to have so much land built on without fully being used. Loving the island so far, it's lots of things to do and see, and it's quite big. So, if you're going to go and explore, definitely start off at the north and head down the south, and then all along the coast, all like nice beach pubs and restaurants and bars. Um, it's very built up, uh, which I wasn't really expecting, but um, it's a really nice place to go. I'd highly recommend to come here. Got gives me like Thailand kind of vibes, if, if I can describe it like the island is like anything. It's definitely like a Thai island, I guess. Zippity oo da, zippity day. Where is Patty? She's coming my way. Plenty of sunshine spreading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity. Yay! Oh, God's sake. oh guys, I'm having a bit of a, a moment here, I think, because uh, I've ripped my T-shirt, love. Oh no! Oh. What am I gonna do? Come on, Patty, get out that needle and thread, girl. That's a bit sexist. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Sorry. Yeah, you will. 
Every evening, Pat and I would come down to this beach bar as it was a really cool vibe and playing some really good quality house music. traveling a lot more like really cool like footage i imagine and a lot more like cooler videos that we're gonna make just for you guys so keep with us you know it's coming on Let's do it. Starfish Beach? Starfish Beach? Starship. Starship, Starship Beach. Starship. We're here with Andy as well. Hi, Andy. And Andy is literally top DJ, really cool producer. We'll leave a, leave a little link of his SoundClouds because he plays the most coolest tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And have one of our best mates. <laughs> so we're just waiting for Corinne and then we're off to go. Yeah. On the bikes. Blam, blam, blam. Our next journey exploring this island will take us up north to Starfish Beach for the day. Hey, where are the starfish brothers? Yeah, no starfish yet. Dreary? <laughs> starfish beach, but no starfish yet. We finally made it, me and Patty, all the way to um, star and Andy and Colin. <laughs> starfish beach. It's been quite nice. And it's quite nice to see that the roads literally have not been really built here yet. Yes, it, I think they're working on it. They're probably going to build a super highway, put three big hotels here at some point. <laughs> Yeah, Hopefully really... not, because it really is unspoiled for now. Yeah, kind of like fisherman's village kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah. But we haven't seen any starfish, so we're gonna keep an eye out for them. <laughs> Let's do it. definitely worth a visit if you come this way uh, literally you come from the motorway and then you've probably got uh, very like rural roads for about i'd say about 10 20 minutes something like that and then when you come here there's like uh, lots of places to eat uh, mostly like out on the jetty and then you can have a little walk and like me and in corin all walks so it's probably about half an hour i would say and Pat, sorry. It's about half an hour walk and then you get to this beautiful beach with the starfish. A couple more people here to see the starfish, but it really is nice because you don't get to see so many in one place. And then once you're, once you're here, there's some places to uh, lay down and uh, yeah. it's supposed to get coconuts and drinks and stuff. Yeah, you can also get a boat to get here and a boat to get back. I think we're going to walk it back again. But yeah, definitely worth it. Definitely. So Ireland's got more to offer now. Every day you learn a little bit yeah. more, but it's really, really nice. We all really enjoyed our time here. Unfortunately, you do see some tourists picking up these beautiful starfish and taking selfies with them. Can you believe it?
The best thing that you'll notice about Starfish Beach is there's no monstrous hotels taking up the coastline of this beautiful place. So you can just chill out and take it easy. And also there's a couple of coconut shacks you can get some food and drink from as well. So it's been a very nice day out here with Patty, Andy and Corinne. So literally just went exploring, went off the beaten track here in Fakok and then came to a little place at the top of the island where is a beach and it's got literally lots of starfish in it. Um, and yeah, it just seems it's developing here quite a lot. So it'd be nice to come back in a couple of years time and see what it's like here. getting Phil. Gonna get ice cream. Driving past. Saw this gentleman on the side of the road. It's gonna get some ice cream, what's that? It's like a little ice cream van, but one motorbike. Alexis ice cream. And that's coconut ice cream. It's like I've made them. <laughs> that's really tasty. Oof, that was quite the week. Big shouts out to Andy and Corinne for joining our videos. We'll see you on the next time as we explore more of the quok. We're staying a little bit longer. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Yeah.